This is a shot of a very rainy day in Austin, Texas when a mother raccoon was bringing in her litter of five raccoon cubs or pups. I like to call them pups, uh, but they're probably properly cubs. But she, it was a very rainy day and she brought them in one at a time. Here's number one that's uh, in this little den that we already had a camera in. And one quick note about all the daddy long leg spiders up on the ceiling there. There are gazillions of them that live inside these kind of dark, uh, cool spaces. And they don't seem to bother anybody. Uh, some people say they're venomous, but they don't really seem to be. Uh, and they don't bother the raccoons or any of the other animals. So mom brings her pup in here and she kind of squirms around with it. And, and uh, you saw how hard it was raining and you'll see it again in, in a, a couple of minutes here. Uh, the camera had missed her running across that rainy driveway, but it gets her in the, in the next segment. And here in just a very few minutes, she's dried off. Uh, they seem to be a little bit like a duck and that water rolls off of them after a while. And so she's cleaning her pup up and kind of comforting it and making it feel at home here in the, the new den where they're going to stay for a while while we're uh, making this video uh, here and putting it online. They've been there about a week, week and a half actually. So I uh, don't know how long they'll stay. They could leave any minute, any day. Uh, but for now, they've been here a little while. So she's kind of comforting this one and uh, getting it to feel at home so that she can go off and leave it. And she's about to take off now back out into the storm uh, to go retrieve number two. And in this next shot here, you can see it's raining pretty good. It's not raining as hard anymore, uh, but it's raining a little bit there. And so she's kind of waddling along with that pup in her mouth. And, and so here comes number two. She's dragging it in. You can see she's good and wet. Uh, the pup's good and wet, and she'll do a little bit of cleanup and comforting and, and uh, kind of licking around on it and chewing on it and uh, just trying to make it feel at home, I think, uh, here in its, in its new little home, and get it comfortable to where, again, after a while, she can take off and, and go get the number three pup. Uh, there on the back wall, you can see where she's kind of rubbing up against the wall and she's gotten it wet. And uh, it was actually flowing water down that wall uh, when, when the rain was coming down really hard. One thing that's kind of interesting here is that at times, while Mama's got a couple of the pups or maybe even three of the pups uh, in here, but she's still got some others out in another den somewhere, she gets kind of agitated, uh, like she's really nervous. She, at times she was actually starting to bite and tear up the, the roof of the den here and, and whatnot. And, and she, you know, she's kind of doing a little bit more manhandling of the, of the pups, being a little bit rougher with them and just, just she seems kind of squirmy and agitated. Uh, so not sure exactly what that's about. Uh, but once she gets all five pups in there, she totally calms down. Uh, she's much more comforting. Yet there she looks very agitated. Uh, she didn't hurt anybody. Nobody, you know, got injured or anything. She just doesn't usually handle them that roughly. One thing we noticed also is that with the very first pup she brought in, she stayed with it for quite some time, maybe an hour or so, kind of getting it settled. And then this next one, she didn't stay that long, uh, but each, each little uh, visit here, as she brought more and more pups in, it was shorter and shorter uh, to where it seemed like that they were feeling comforted by, by being with you know, a little group again, and she felt like she could take off. So here she goes again, out to retrieve a number three, uh, from wherever this other den was and you can see she's kind of waddling along sort of splay legged Looks like maybe she's stepped on a tail occasionally and is trying to avoid that being a good mom and and <clears throat> We don't know what den she brought them from Just based on the direction that she traveled across that uh, Driveway shot in the rain. It looks like she might have had them up in a very large hollow oak tree 
uh, and that the reason she moved was that it, it was raining so hard. It, it, it had really rained hard. We got a couple of inches of rain pretty quick. Uh, and it may be that that tree was like filling up with water or they were just getting soaked to the bone and she needed to get out of there. We find that a lot of the animals know where these dens are, uh, you know, and kind of know their way around and know that it's a good safe place when it's extremely cold or wet or whatever. So here she comes with number four. That was a good shot. You could see it was a pup for sure. Comes in again. Three of them are in there totally asleep. And then she brings in number four here and kind of stirs everybody up again. And she's wet, pup's wet, you know, gets it cleaned up a little bit and, and then starts thinking about going for the, the very last one here. So uh, those are all kind of grouped up. And so she heads off into the rain again. Uh, there comes number five, that's the last one. And she brings it in. And she gets settled in now with number five and, and does a similar type of deal to kind of do the, do the cleanup, see if she can get it dried off and, and you know, uh, get it in next to the others to where it feels at home again. Because that one pup's been out there by itself for, for a while out in the rain and without its mother and, you know, at a time that it's not used to being alone. Because this is during the daytime, you know, about 11 a.m., and the pups, you know, they know that something crazy is going on here uh, for mom to go off and leave them, you know, during the day like that. Because she never does that uh, at, at this age, at least. And so she's cleaning this one up and, you know, she, she still looks a little bit agitated and she's kind of manhandling the pup a little bit, but, but not too much. And they all get settled down and go to sleep. And that's where they've been for the last 10 days.